So many, some possibly, of you uh, were here on the channel like two years ago and we reviewed a uh, motorcycle intercom from Lexan, the B4FM. And uh, to this day, that intercom set, that set of comms, uh, still is on one of my helmets and is one that I use a lot uh, whenever I wear that helmet. Uh, and the other set of comms that I constantly continue to wear is from Lexan, which is the FT4 Pro. Um, and one set is on one helmet, another set is on the other helmet. Um, the reason I'm talking about that is uh, Lexan actually sent us the updated, updated version of the B4FM. So this is this is the box right here. Uh, dual pack, because how do you test an intercom without having two of them? Um, so we're gonna look at their look at their Amazon listing. Uh, we're gonna check out what comes in the box, and then we're gonna go for a little bit of ride, Mary and I. Yep, and uh, see what we think of them. All right, coming up. So it says here, Lexan Two Piece B Four FM. Now I'm not sure. That's 2,000 ratings right now. 2,061 ratings on Amazon.com. Um, four and a half stars. And and I'm gonna I'm gonna say you know what? I've tried uh, Senas and Card Cardos, whatever they're called, Scalas. Uh, I've tried you know really really inexpensive comms. And as I've stated, the Lexans for the price, like you can get a dual pack here, US. Uh, Two piece, right? Dual pack, $164. Even in Canada, two piece, right here, right? Uh, $210. Um, these ones were sent to us from Lexan, though. Uh, thousand ratings on Canada, four and a half stars. You know, and, and I think, you know, you see four and a half stars and you're like, well, well honestly, that's really good because there's always going to be someone that the, the, Audio pads don't fit properly. They don't sit where your ears sit. There's they're they're not comfortable because your helmet's your helmet's too tight. Um, but what we're gonna do is look at the features, and we're gonna see what the changes are between this one, this one here, uh, and the old one. And I'm thinking when we go for a ride, they're gonna work just as just as good. So uh, what do you get? Number one, this has been updated to Bluetooth version five. There was no Bluetooth five when the original ones came out. So that's that's fantastic. And they say that you can kind of tell the difference really between the two, like cosmetically right away, is this little, I think it's this little X here. This used to be a helmet. So there used to be an image of a helmet on it, which is what you would talk, you would click to kind of go into the comm section. Um, right now it's a little X. I don't know if that makes it better or worse, it, but it's, cosmetically different so that's good um, big thing for me is the old ones were uh, micro I think it shows here were they micro USB yeah micro USB charging port you can see right there right and a three and a half millimeter so one was for charging one was to push your audio through now USB-C one port does it all and the bonus of that is uh, you and I probably have a ton of USB charging cables and whatever all over the place so it's not something that's gonna be hard to find if you lose the one that comes in the box. Lastly, one of my favorite things, uh, and this was never on the B4FMs, uh, not, not lastly, probably one of the more important things, I guess. Uh, this right here, share your music. Again, as far as I know, not something that you could do. So now if you have, if I'm playing music on my comms, I can actually share that music to the person I'm writing with. Maybe they forgot to bring their phone with them and they're like, hey, I'll just listen to your jams. Yeah, you can do it up, right? That's awesome. And uh, here's here's the last one, which I kind of like. Uh, ten riders. Not that uh, I ever ride with ten additional riders anymore. I used to, way more group riding. But we live in a new area now, so the only people I know that have motorcycles is Mary and I. That's it. If you're in the area, you know, let us know. Let us know. Maybe we'll go riding with you. But uh, 10 riders up from the four. So that's that's also really good. Uh, supposedly some of the, probably not all of it, but some of the audio quality from the FT4 series has kind of made its way down into the B4 FMs 
right now. Uh, range, it says range of 2000 meters. I'm going to say that's again, if the world is perfect, uh, but if I can get the distance that like my wife and I would normally ever be apart, I, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, down to minus 25 degrees. So if you're a snowmobiler and you want to be able to use these on your, your snowmobile helmet or whatever, awesome. And, uh, DSP and CVC wind noise cancellation. All right. That's good. Four and a half stars. Yeah. Uh, they definitely one of my favorites in that price point. You can get two of these, a pair for 200 bucks Canadian, a pair for 165 bucks us. Fantastic. Okay. Um, Here's your, here's your deal on the bottom. Your up button is for volume up, music next track, redial, clear, your intercom button. This is one that's gonna go back and forth to your either your passenger or the person you're riding with. This is your power button, type C. I love that it's type C. And uh, your down button is volume down, etc., etc. And it also says 15 hours of battery life, Siri and S voice capable, noise canceling, 1.2 miles. Uh, water resistant, 10 rider conference calls, music sharing. Yeah, see, it's a bigger speaker driver. So 36 millimeter HD speaker, type C, quick charge. Uh, it, that's enough, you know what? And if you if you have the old ones and they still work, then I would just be like, you know what? They probably are just fine, no, no need to upgrade. But uh, if you haven't and you're looking for a pair of comms at a reasonable price, because this won't even give you get you like one Senna. You're getting a pair. All right, here they are. This is them. They look they look the same as the old ones. Really, they look identically, identically, identically the same. You guys can see them, right? That's them right there. They always have a fantastic click. Really nice click. And I like the fact too, this is what I like as well. Not a lot of buttons on here. They are multi, so depending on how long you hold stuff, they'll do different things, right? Um, but uh, easy to feel with gloves. You know, you get that on here, like it's up on your side here. You can easily kind of tell with gloves. You're like, okay, so there's the two side buttons and there's, there's your volume buttons right there or your up and down buttons, whatever. You know, you can kind of just scroll over and be like, there we are, click. There we are, click. Yeah, they work really nice and, and a nice mounting system. So we got two of them and I like the kind of the rubbery feel that they have too, which is also nice when or if it gets wet outside, it's raining, a little slippy, your gloves are wet. Really nice. Uh, there's gonna be your mounting system that goes on. Now, I'm curious, I'm gonna try to see if I can just uh, mount them to my old mounts that are on there, because like I said, they're old B4FMs, uh, and this would basically go on the inside of the helmet, it clamps clamps on the helmet. You get a pair of those if you bought the dual, dual pack. Uh, you also get a little sticky deal, and I think this is for the, for the mic, if you want that. Uh, and then, whoops, and then you get your, yeah, these are, these these seem a little bigger than the old ones. Each of these have little stickies on them, but key here is, and I wonder, I'm also wondering, I'm curious if you had the old ones in there, because one of the things you may be able to see with this is that if you, if you, if you, if you take this, right, this for instance, Oh no, never mind. I was gonna say maybe you could just use no. But if you this piece here unplugs depending on what you want, that's gonna stick. There's the USB C that goes on there, and of course you get two of those. Oh, good stuff. And you get this how to use user guide. Uh, honestly, you know what? This is something I, I didn't necessarily have it anymore on my current bike. I did on my old bike. I would actually carry the manual for the comms in my my trunk because if I was always like something would happen, let's say something happened and you're like trying to connect and it happened once, not that I was having problems connecting with Mary, but I was trying to connect them with uh, a friend of mine's comm, which wasn't a Lexan. So we were trying to figure out what you had to do. So we were able to use the manual, of course, to figure out how to get theirs into like a pairing mode and ours to pair in a universal mode. And we ended up getting them to, to work just, just fine. All right, yeah, this should be easy. I'm gonna go install this because uh, you, you run a bunch of cable. That's what you do. Run a headphone back behind your helmet. Headphone, it's all wonderful. And uh, that's 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 gonna be it for the unboxing part. Next 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 time you'll see me, which will be in a second for you, we'll be heading out to the motorcycles to try them out. Oh yes. All right, stay 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 put. Hmm. <laughs>
<laughs> Those spider webs. Yeah, you can try to get them off there if you can. It started, that's good. Starting is good. You got your calm on? No? Might as well do it now before you get your gloves on. Yeah, just hold it. I don't know if it'll pair with your phone automatically, but here, we'll do this. Hello? Hi, I can hear you. You got room beside the car to get out okay? Okay, you know where we're going? Yeah, yeah, we'll take it all the way in through town and then we'll basically the spot up behind Speedy Glass. Are you ready? You, yes, you are. You got this. Just like riding a bike. Just a bigger bike. Okie dokie. I'm behind you. Just watch coming out of here and just get a nice run down there. Oh, the hill's easy. If there's nothing coming, you just kind of coast yourself down. You're good. This is this is what it's like when you haven't ridden your motorcycle in a year, almost almost two years probably. Pretty close. You rode it down the street and back. Okay, I'm just watching because we want some distance anyway, just to kind of trucks coming. All right. So the other thing too is for us is to just kind of figure out like distance. You, you can still hear me, hey Mary? Yeah. I found like last time when we had the older version of these, we could get pretty far and still have good communication. So, and they're, the, the noise cancelling is surprisingly well. Like, I can't hear your bike at all, and I can't hear anything from your comm except when you're actually talking. Yeah. Yeah, I hear the odd little, like, clicky sound or something, like when there's probably something extra loud, but other than that, not nothing. So, that's good. <laughs> you get a little bit of everything today. Okay, try to get some distance from me. I'll be able to catch up to you when you get up there. So I'm going to go a little slower. Uh, so, I don't know, 70 would be like 40 or so, probably, I'm guessing. And you're, you're, you're quite a ways up there from me already, and you can hear me still good? Yeah, a little crackly right there, so same with me, so that's about the distance. All right, I'm gonna try to catch you now. How about now? Yeah, still a little crackly. about now yeah so that's kind of I'd say this kind of distance is like optimal so I don't know what that is for distance you know but that kind of distance between two people you should be able to be pretty good so just so you know at that speed you're doing right now we're doing about 85 kilometers can't remember 70 I think so I'll tell you when we hit 70 right now this is seven this is 70 kilometers right now so Mar Mary's bike is in miles so it's uh, something we have to we either have to t tell each other what the speed limit or sometimes Mary you you just have a uh, an app on your bike right that tells you the speed so you run an app, like a GPS app, and it tells you in kilometers. So, yeah, I do. I do the opposite when when we ever travel into the U.S. Be 
because I don't know why, you know, like, it doesn't have, like, oh, okay, gotcha. So it's there, but you just can't see it. See that bus right there? That one? That's the one I was caught behind. Yeah. Oh, and just just for you you YouTuber watchers out there, I know Mary's listening to me and she's always like, doesn't know when I'm talking to her or when I'm talking to the audience. This time I'm talking to the audience. This mount, this mount that I have on my helmet here, a lot of people have asked the question if my visor would go all the way down with the mount on. So here's, here it is. It's pretty much all the way down. There's like, I don't know if you guys can see it. There's a little bit of a, an opening there, but I don't even really feel any wind come in. So I'd say it, it depends on possibly your visor, but it, it seems to it seems to be okay. No no big concern. It seals enough that I wouldn't really notice it. Now, if you were in a torrential downpour, you may be getting a little bit of water coming in, but that little bit of extra air may also help with with fogging. So some of these some of these little curves up here too. Just watch. Remember, it's this one up at the top here that I had a car come in halfway through the lane. So I'd be I'd stick to the inside corner for these corners just in case cars decide to, to cut the corner too much because they can't see what's coming around and you're on a motorcycle which means you're even harder probably to see in the corners and a lot of cars didn't see this car came out wide but there's a there's a bump here right there and they always try to go around it so they end up coming out and this is the corner that that car came out right here real real tight yeah I'm curious to see if they are like yeah your bike's fine yeah well me too like when they did my bike they checked like a little bit of my suspension they checked to make sure all my lights were working they they checked to see that my odometer and all that was turning on uh, they checked to make sure my handlebars could like go to both extremities properly nothing was blocking it like my cables weren't too tight or anything but like the whole the whole actual inspection uh, may, maybe five ten minutes the rest of it was just doing the paperwork and stuff like that oh and they they, they checked the the tire tread but you and I you and I got tires the exact same time and I've driven a bit more than you have and my tires are fine so and if you hit this fast enough I'm pretty sure you can get some air no no like if you hit it like at a good speed yeah oh it's it's so nice having having someone to talk to when I'm riding on the bike not that it's it's not nice going out for a ride by yourself but especially this time of year it's I find it's just a nice temperature that you, you don't mind wearing all your gear because you're not like cooking hot because I think it's like 17 degrees or something like that right now like that's perfect Mary's probably noticing how much I talk when I'm riding because you you guys probably don't want to just watch empty road so, so I try to have some kind of something happening yeah you're like enough with the chit chat even though I could turn the calm off and we could just have silence all right actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it off and then turn it back on just to see how long it takes to connect all right all right so if I came here and tapped the back button instantly it's disconnected from Mary so the disconnect from Mary is super fast right which you, which you would expect it to be and at this point in time if I had music playing on my phone or anything like that I could I could listen to now I did look at the actual manual about uh, doing music sharing and um, column A which is the primary one which I guess I don't know it, probably me which is because I instigated the pairing um, what happened
have to be in like music playback mode and then you would double click the uh, the power button again and it kind of goes into music sharing mode and at that point the receiver like Mary would be in the music mode as well or the non-com mode and would double click hers and they would set up music sharing is, is what I read we haven't done it but supposedly that's what it is now to get back into uh, comms we would just come here again I like the fact big buttons gloves friendly click and it's not instant so it takes a minute I think I hit it yep I think maybe maybe there you go oh I never disconnected from you oh well keep talking because I need to know that you're disconnected like no no I'm like why because it's your your the noise cancelling is so good I can't hear you so I'm gonna disconnect and you tell me if you can hear me all right so I'm gonna disconnect but the wrong button this button and I'm gone hello Mary are you there are you there Mary Mary's not there okay she gave me a thumbs up so we're disconnected now I'm gonna hit the button Click, click, and 1,000, 2,000, and we're back. Yes? Yeah. So, it only takes like a second and a half, two seconds to reconnect, so not too bad. Like it reconnects really fast. And usually when Mary and I are riding, especially if we're going on any kind of distance, um, we're both listening to our own music and stuff like that. So, I only turn the comms on when we are getting close to town or there's something that one of us wants to sh point out to the other person or anything like that. Hi. <laughs> and then we go back to music, music listening mode. And uh, you guys now have seen this road <laughs> twice because it's the same road that I came down when I came to go do my MVI. And uh, that's what that's what Mary's doing today. She's taking her bike in to get it tested or to get it inspected, I guess. Yep, fun stuff. So, what do you think, Mary? Do you like these comms? Yeah, they've been... Well, we've used... the, the Yeah, we have used some crap, for sure. But we've used this same model, the B4FM, uh, and it was still on my helmet. I had to actually take it off to put this one on. Uh, and we got those in, like, 2019, so I'd say, like going on two and a half years ago probably so you know for the price and when you look at like the Senna's I think the Senna's and they probably have some maybe some extra features probably but a pair of Senna's in Canada is like I don't know five six hundred dollars that's that to me just seems like a lot of money when you can get a set of these for like 200 bucks yeah See this? I just, I really dislike. Go, go. I really dislike this, this curve. It just, you can't instigate the curve. You can't get out into it. Poor design, so poor. All right, guys. So I'm probably gonna stop there. We're gonna go get Mary's bike done. Um, you've seen this. Uh, our, our recommendation is if you got $200 to spend, I think this is a fantastic set. It gives you almost all the features of the big the big brands um, for like half the price. 200 bucks will get you uh, the ability to go upwards of 10 devices. You can do universal connecting, so you can connect with somebody else that has like a center or something like that. Uh, you can do music sharing. You can, uh, they say 2,000 meters. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call that as I did, doubtful, unless you got like ultimate conditions. But I would, I would easily say six or 800 meters for sure. Uh, no, no problem with that. Easy to install, 15 hour battery life, waterproof, and the noise canceling. As you saw when I was talking, and I thought Mary was gone, and she wasn't. The no <laughs> thanks, Mary. The, the noise, the noise canceling is fantastic on these. So, super good, 200 bucks, can't go wrong. All right guys, I'm gonna leave you there. 
we're gonna finish our ride like comment share subscribe and we will see you guys next video we're gonna we're gonna be showing you this actually right here that right there not my phone but what it's attached to all right later